I think there are too many laws in this country, yeah. Um, it's bureaucracy gone mad. I don't think there are too many laws at all, really, no. I don't think there's too many laws in this country, no. I think there's um, not enough of the right laws. In, in terms of the UK, it does seem to be that um, it's turning into a bit more of a nanny state and laws are multiplying. Far, far too many laws. Stop, stop, stop regulating motorists. Stop ready. Give, it, give, give the responsibility to them. Can you tell me what the difference is between a solicitor and a lawyer? I can. Um, it's a common misperception that solicitors aren't lawyers. In fact, anyone who practices in the area of law is a lawyer. And there are two types of lawyer in this country. A solicitor who is office-based and a barrister who is uh, a person most likely to be found in court. Do countries across the world have laws in common or are we all different? Some um, countries sign up to treaties and conventions where they actually promise to have in their domestic law um, certain things in common. For example, in child abduction cases, they will recognise family law agreements that are made in this country so that they can be enforced abroad. As musicians, I think there's a lot of regulations with, within music that don't necessarily make sense. Um, yeah. Licensing, being licensing the and thing. noise regulation. I think I would reintroduce the Sunday trading law because I don't like having shops open every Sunday. I think it was nice to have a day off, a day with your family, and frankly, if you can't buy it six days of the week, I don't see. But that's I'm very old-fashioned. Have you always been a solicitor? I can't say that I grew up with a burning desire to be a lawyer. I think my wish to be a lawyer comes from personal experience and uh, experience as being an employee was mine and I felt um, I was being asked by an employer to try and stop uh, somebody in my team from making a claim because they had actually injured themselves at work and I felt that was morally wrong and I looked into the uh, legislation about this and I realised there was a whole new area in life that I could look at and perhaps take forward which would provide um, justice for people and that's when I first started getting interested. When you made your career change, how long did it take to train to be a solicitor? Well for me it was the first time I'd done a degree so I had to go to university and study three years where I studied law and you then have to do a practical course, that's when you have to decide whether to be a barrister or a solicitor and that course is one year and then you have to do two years actually working alongside solicitors before you fully qualify. Um, I wouldn't say I've ever broken the law to any major extent. I probably walked across the road um, when the red man was up but I, I can't remember anyway any major crimes. No, aside from the occasional parking ticket I've never really had much to do with being the wrong side of the law. You would have broken the law? No, <laughs> apart from speeding. No more than every other teenager has broken yeah. the law. Yeah, yeah, that's about about as much as I say about never, that. Never been arrested, so. Never been arrested. So I assume I've never broken we're the law. We're, we're very good, we're good boys. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are good.